It's a who done it at Central Park Zoo. An owl named Flacco has flown the coop after someone cut through the mesh around his exhibit. Flacco, that's the escaped zoo owl. Well, he'll now be allowed to remain in the wild. Hello, good morning. Today we are in Central Park, New York City, USA. <laughs> and today we are hoping to see something special. Remember the owl movie I made? which was the first time I ever saw an owl. If you have never seen that video, I'll link it up below. I made it a mission to try to find my own owl. Is that an owl? Oh, nope, tree. Today is a little different. We're actually trying to look for Flacco. Flacco, 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 Flacco. If you don't know the story about Flacco, it's pretty interesting. He escaped from the Central Park Zoo uh, after someone vandalized his cage. And at first, there was kind of a little bit of an owl hunt to try to get him back to the zoo. NYPD officers attempted to cage the owl, but it flew off. And it opened up this whole debate whether he should go back to the zoo or he should be free. And the people at the zoo said they want to bring him back because he can't survive on his own. He's only he's been in captivity for so long. Turns out the owl can hunt. He could eat. He's thriving. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna try to see him today and then maybe talk a little bit more about that. So he's definitely a celebrity because uh, some random person walking their dog just stopped me and said, hey, are you looking for the owl? <laughs> so uh, he's definitely well known in these parts. Uh, the last time he was spotted, he was, uh, he's been hanging out mostly in the northern part of Central Park. When he first escaped, he was kind of near the zoo. And uh, pretty much he's known to hang out in the north area of the park, which is known as the North Woods. Uh, and this other area, which is really pretty, the lock. Should the owl go back to its small enclosure in the zoo or should it be left free in an environment it's not native to? So, the, you know, I could see both sides of the debate, of course, but um, I know if it were me, I would probably want to stay out of the enclosure and whatever happens, happens, whether I eat rat poison or if I get hit by a car. It's probably a better way to go than just sitting in a cage for the rest of your life. Anyway, that's just me. Well, I got my first hint that Flacco's nearby. Right there. I got him, guys. Look, there he is. Oh, I think he heard me. So I got to see Flacco. Uh, a couple of things. Number one, when you're shooting wildlife, when you're doing wildlife photography, I realized I need to pause. I'm so, I was so concerned about getting a great shot of Flacco that I didn't get to, like for a while, enjoy him for what he is, just a magnificent species. So every now and then I'd have to pause to actually take him in which was great too. So, so I'm sure those of you that shoot wildlife probably know what I'm talking about is 
uh, you you know you have a photography brain and and there's also the naturalist the biologist in you that uh, has to shut off the photography and just take in the animal. Now finding him was super easy because obviously there were photographers everywhere. And that also kind of took away from the experience. I mean, I, I feel super thankful that I was able to see Flacco, but also a little selfish in wanting to see him alone. And, you know, these things go through your mind as you're, you know, in a crowded city looking at an escaped owl <laughs> from Central Park. But those are such spoiled feelings. I really wanted to experience him, find him and experience him alone. But, um, it is what it is, and I'm really thankful for seeing him. Oh yeah, I should probably talk about gear. Uh, I was using the Nikon Z6 II with the 300 millimeter PF lens. Uh, the 200 to 600 millimeter lens was just way too heavy to handhold. Um, I'm a birder first, <laughs> so I'm not carrying a tripod. And uh, I'm not carrying my binoculars and this Sony a7C and <laughs> 200 to 500 millimeter lens. So I think I got pretty good pictures of Flaco. Flaco. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you guys next time.